Let's talk matches South African football now. We are joined by Sizwe Mbebe, who is, of course, a football writer. Uh, Sizwe, a very good morning to you. Thank you for your time. I mean, can you summarize Danny Yodan's troubles, and is this the end for him? Morning to, uh, morning to you, Bongani. Morning to the listeners. Um, it feels like it. Um, uh, for something, so it, it feels like it now. Now is it, now is it's really, really the orchestration, the planning, the plan to overthrow him is really coming together. Because if your enemies drag you to court, um, you know, in this way, in this fashion, so publicly and so embarrassingly, um, at the height of the national, the senior national team's performance, um, you know, it, it must it, it, it must really send some kind of signal to anyone who's outside. And we are all sitting outside and wondering what would possess someone to push so far. To, I mean, this feels like evil almost, you know. Um, but that's that's the power game. It's full of it's full of those kind of emotions. Yeah, because it's easy to focus on Danny Yodan, but some might argue yep. the stink in Safa speaks to far worse rot. Absolutely. I mean, football just in general, um, you know, agents, um, underhand tactics. You know, there's so much money that's unaccounted for in football. So already there's two way too many gray areas um, where even you know I think I think um, if you if you if you toe the line of of, of football football business you always you you somehow cross uh, that gray area and you make a decision that might benefit you in the in the short term but yeah. in the long term might come back to bite you and I think this is the situation here. We've seen all sorts of shenanigans, a lot of club leaders accused of using their clubs as ways to launder yep. money. We've even seen players being paid in cash on the field in front of cameras yep. and nothing happens. It's absolutely, it's absolutely the case. I mean, uh, 70% of football business, as I said, is, is probably, I mean, and this is me, I'm no economist, but this is me just uh, the way I see things. It's lots of money that's unaccounted for. Um, and it's just, just, uh, it's just what's, what happens. Um, so nobody's really squeaky clean in this situation, whoever, whoever is involved, whether it's Danny Jordan or the people that are trying to overthrow him. They themselves are probably not squeaky clean. So whichever leader we end up with, we're going to end up with someone who's, who's going to push for a certain agenda either way. <laughs> so, so I don't know <laughs> which lesser evil is more evil than the other. <laughs> and so when people get, I don't know, gifts of 2 million rand here, 2 million rand there, that for you always raises eyebrows. Absolutely. I mean, uh, and, I, and I feel, I feel from, I look at the other side and I feel, you know, there, there was an NEC um, on the PSL side. They voted for a new executive committee. A, a man that I told is very influential, John Committees from Cape Town City, um, is out of that um, execo. Uh, and I'm wondering why, you know, because he, he had a very close relationship and he's actually a progressive uh, football leader. But here, here, is the, here is the nut crack for me. Um, I feel like maybe the PSL is pushing John Committees towards Safa to take over Safa because his passion is all about grassroots football anyway. His, his record is proven from Ajax Cape Town, from Cape Town Spurs before Ajax Cape Town, seven stars, um, all the way to Cape Town City now. And Cape Town City is one of the youngest clubs in the country, but it yeah. probably has produced some youth players for the national team, more than many teams that have existed before them. So I do get the feeling there's an orchestration from the PSL side, but this is also me just watching and trying to create drama. But maybe I'm right. <laughs> maybe I'm right. <laughs> Nobody's ever accused you of that before, I'm sure. Uh, Sizu Mbebe, soccer writer there and analyst, uh, just uh, really telling us about how dirty our football is. Current events. Developing stories. Tough questions. Your voice making a difference. This is Breakfast with Bongani Bingwa.